And first, Senior Romney Campaign Advisor Barbara Comstock joining us. Nice to talk to you. Thanks for being with us. Good to be with you. Thank you. Appreciate that. People listening to both the governor and the congressman today might get the impression that they actually oppose the $700 billion cut. But in fact, the congressman's plan not only includes this cut, but instead of restoring it to the funding, he puts the same cap, yearly cap on growth and spending per beneficiary. And unlike the president's plan, doesn't put the savings back into the system. It actually uses that money to finance deficit reduction and tax cuts. How, aren't they arguing against something that actually not only do they support through the Ryan budget plan, but that virtually every Republican has voted for in 2011 and 2012? Okay, well, I'm not sure if there's a question in here there, but why don't we start with the fact that nobody 55 or over needs to be part of this discussion because under the Romney and Ryan, you know, what, what we're putting forward with the Romney and Ryan team, it will affect change nothing in Medicare if you're over 55. Actually, by the time it's implemented, it'll probably go down to about 53 or so because it takes time to phase it in and change it. So the same plan, nobody steal. We are not stealing the 719 billion that Barack Obama took away from Medicare, from current seniors, from my parents who are retired, from okay, Paul so Ryan's mother who's a senior. Let's but stop what we did, with the, let's stop yeah. there because the stealing thing, right, is really what that That's long right. the question Democrats I asked you. voted for it. Okay. Okay, the Democrats voted for it. So let's say the Democrats voted to take that Medicare money that we all paid with our premiums when we all work in our paychecks. We pay those premiums for Medicare, so it'll be there. They took out that money and they're putting but it that, into Obamacare. That money but, is not taken out. That money yes, is a reduction is. in the growth over no. 10 years, right? No, and that money taken. doesn't come from the benefits. <laughs> Okay, I'm talking, CBO said that that money was taken from Medicare. But then let's go back. So no, if you're 55 and over, no impact. If you're under 55, let's talk about what's on the table now with Congress. It's the Ryan Wyden plan. Everyone likes to leave out Congressman Wyden, a liberal from Oregon who worked very responsibly in an adult way with Congressman Ryan to come up with an option so younger people like you and I and our kids will have a future where we can still have the same Medicare that's in place. But if you'd like to choose, if you want to look at things and choose a different option, we will have different choices. Younger workers, 55 and over, it stays the same. Younger workers, we get a choice. What's wrong with the choice? That's, that's why when you had Ben LeBolt so, on here earlier, he couldn't answer that, and he couldn't answer that Ron Wyden supported this very so sensible what, plan for what, younger workers. Here's what Ron Wyden said, who, by the way, voted against the plan, as you well know. He said this no, in a no, statement that was No, no, he didn't vote against his own plan. He voted the whole budget there was he doesn't a plan. like, but the Medicare... Plan it was a policy supports. proposal. He said, I did not, this is a quote from him in a statement from his office, I did not co-lead a piece of legislation. I wrote a policy paper on options for Medicare. Several months after the paper came out, I spoke and voted against the Medicare provisions in the Ryan budget. Governor Romney needs to learn you don't protect seniors by making things up, and his comments <laughs> sure won't promote real bipartisanship. I'm just reading what his office sent out okay, today, well, distancing himself from what clearly you're trying to connect connect him to.